hi everyone and welcome back so in this video uh, let's try uh, react uh, full stack skill certification so in this playlist we are covering uh, all about full stack certifications so we'll go to i already logged into the hacker rank and this is the platform we are using to play with these uh, simple examples so uh, we used to have a react basic and a react uh, intermediate let's search if we have intermediate also okay they have only react basic so i'll just enter my information okay and let's proceed So take test and here it will prompt us okay these are the questions section one two questions and we can choose any of this like online id or local environment online id means it will give you all the questions online okay so it is just preparing an environment so that uh, you can submit the code online it internally uses the vs code vs code and now we can go to the test and try to see what this code is slideshow app and the, the shorting articles right so these are like what it is the, the react basics and the slideshow should be something easy sorting articles it's all about playing with the arrays and then sorting the items so let's do the solution solve it so there are two ways what you can do is first you can just uh, use the local id what you will do use the local id is it will give you a simple console i mean you can clone the code and then you can submit the challenge how we are going to submit that everything is working when you run the tests all the tests should be passing currently all all of these will be failing sometimes it takes more time because it is online it is creating the environment on the docker containers on the server and then it is running your tests what you can do you can also clone the code use local via git and within that time limit you have to submit you have to add the commit while uh, so you will clone the code as like a git repository and uh, you will add your code and you will test your code everything works and you will commit the code right so what you will do is git copy url url is copied and then you will clone this code so we can clone the code here git clone because i think doing it locally is somewhat faster so i will just open this in the folder so we should be able to see this here at rank and then you can see this is our code and here i can do simple npm install so let's do that uh, npm install and then you can just run npm run test and all okay i need to go inside the folder and then npm run test that is the first command which we can execute and uh, here is this the readme file that contains all the instructions like uh, what is this application about and what you need to work on so here if you can you can open this readme in the preview open preview that gives you uh, the little overview how what is this application so i think it's like uh, some kind of buttons where you need to change the 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 view like when you next previous restart next 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 until you got you reach to the last element then the pre, uh, next should be disabled and when you go to the previous when you are on the first element first slide then the previous should be disabled these will be there in the tests and when you click on to the restart your previous will be disabled next will be enabled these kind of things needs to be taken care and if you see the code it's all javascript not even the typescript so we are just using slide component and inside slide component this is our slide component and we are getting these slides which we are showing the slide title here and slide text here so i think we should be getting this data from somewhere yes these are the slides right so this is an array of slides which we need to just pass to the slides component and when you click on to the next and previous we will just uh, switch the index okay next show this element previous show this element next then show this element and when you are at the last element uh, enable the previous button disable the next button something like this all these things we need to do 
and you can just test check if your tests are passing currently all will fail because we haven't written the code but once we once we do that uh, and we write the whole code here our test will start passing because if you see this test file is also there and it is written it is using this uh, testing library react this is how actually you should write test for your components when you build uh, some components right get test by id and there are prefix there are specified text ids which you should not touch so this is your app.js slide component so do not change anything on the test ids your data test ids and the class name let's keep it there because they are not testing your css skills they are testing your logical skills that you are passing slides then now how you are going to play with these next and previous buttons so here let's try to play with this so here in from the app.js slides is an array, an array which is being passed from here you can see we are passing the slides array app component you got the array and you are passing the same array here so slides is an array that's clear and here what we can do is we can use index set index and we can use a huge state hook initialize that index with zero right so if index is zero what we need to do is we need to enable and disable things so based on that and when you click on to the next and previous we need to play with this on click and we need to change the current index uh, here we can just add a button next and similarly this is previous so what we need to do we just need to have a current index it's let's say this is index and set index that is actually the current index and based on the index only we will show the values here so what we need to show here is slides and what is the index value and the advantage of doing this is on local you can do the tests so okay slides what is the array this slide contains title and text so slide dot title And here it is title and text. I can zoom it a little bit. So this is clear. Okay, so we have a next and the previous button, slide, title, and text. Now when you click on to the next, we need to define these methods, right? Const next. These are actually variables, so make it uh, in lower case. These are the method names, next and previous, and then there is a method previous. Okay, so when you click on to the next, what we need to do here, we do we just need to do some checks. Either we can disable the thing. Okay, so what we will do is that index is i plus one when you do previous i will just set index i equal to i minus one and we need to enable and disable buttons on some conditions okay because here previous should be disabled disabled based on what when index is zero right then we will just need to disable the previous button and next button we need to disable when index is slides dot length is equal to the length of the slides we are getting index is starting from zero so slides dot length is three minus one so we didn't need to do minus one right if both are equals we will disable we will disable the next okay i need to switch these methods i put them wrongly so this is the previous this is next okay and when you click on to the restart sub something needs to be changed right on click here also we can define the method restart so const i mean this is very basic example so don't think like it's very complex here when you do restart we need to set index to zero 
that's it because we are restarting the everything now i will do is npm run start and we'll see if uh, this is working as expected so you can also see this readme file how it is working this uh, image will give you everything next next previous restart title and description so let's see the output how it really looks like so here i can see next 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 previous 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 restart okay if i do restart now it will go to zero next restart next will be disabled now you can just go to the previous restart will take you to the zero okay i can i'm ready to run the tests now i will do is npm run test if any test case is failing then we will see but i think this is basic we should be able to pass uh, the tests okay there is something what happened restart button to be disabled yes so when do we want to disable the restart button when you click on next 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 okay initially the restart button should be disabled restart button should be dis enabled only when the index is not equal to zero okay so this is the new condition so here also we will add a disabled when index not equal equal to zero uh, sorry index equal equal to zero then only we need to disable it right uh, let's run the tests again because from this image i can see this restart is disabled and enabled every time until unless index is zero restart is disabled so we'll run the tests and i can see the ui also restart is disabled enabled now and rest all the time it is enabled until unless the index is zero yes this is working now and our tests are passing so what we need to do is git status git add src git commit all tests passing and git push origin master and then we'll go to the remote this is the remote i can just uh, pull code from server because we pushed it and here i can run the tests again to see if uh, my code is there first we can check here locally that your code has been populated because you posted it so this is the code we have added i will submit this okay i should have run the tests first before submitting it i can also run the tests and then we'll go to the next which is uh, sorting the articles i'm already on the second question first question i will just run the tests and then we'll go to the second question So it is running tests now on the server also the same code and then we will clone the next code which is about sorting the article so we are just running the tests on the remote for the first question it is doing npm install it is a little slow that that's why i used to do uh, cloning locally and then working on to that locally meanwhile we have to wait we can't do anything so here we can see all the tests are passing we can just submit it we already submitted it it will take us to the second question which is uh, playing with the sorting of the articles most voted most recent i will do the same thing for this use local and i will clone this copy git clone and i will go to my terminal go to one directory back git clone and then we can go to this folder and let's uh, open another component and another folder and here do npm install and here let's see this readme file what it says
this is about sorting the articles let's work on that and then we'll be done so it's all about playing with the arrays and when you click on to these buttons uh it's all about array dot sort right this is the simple thing i think we can do we will join we just submit this question okay so what do we have is this is a simple component we are getting the articles and these articles are being passed to this component we have these buttons and these articles we are passing here okay so one thing we can do is we have these buttons here so we can add the handlers on click handlers and uh, change this article data and pass the article data and pass the the process data to this component okay so what we need to do is uh, i think it should be pretty much straightforward and simple we just need to do the sorting by votes by date right so we can write some methods first of all these articles we need to pass here so what we are going to have is simple huge state there we are going to maintain our copy of data which keeps changing data and set data and use state this is either you can initialize this data with articles that this is also we can do and then we have these methods const sort by votes these methods we have added on the buttons and then there is another method const sort by recent and it's all about uh, dealing with these methods and changing your data so first we will create a copy of uh, data this is the original copyright articles and we need to just get the sorted data sorted uh, articles or sorted data what we need to do is simple sort so here we created a copy dot sort variable namings can be better than this so here it's all about the callback it takes a and b and then we are i'm saying is a dot upwards upwards minus because we need to show the 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 number of votes which are higher first like in the descending order so b dot upwards minus a dot of votes i think this is correct and then once you get this you can just do simple set data is a sorted data and this data we are passing here in this component which is just displaying this data using map right we are just doing array dot map displaying title of votes and data so that is already sorted how we are doing it and here i will just do the sorting based on the date so b dot date and a dot date so the difference here is it's a string right so you can't really compare these two strings you need to convert that into the date object so what we can do is b dot date so i will say new date so b dot date minus new date and this is the date so this is also the the recent dates will come first like the the most number of upvotes will come first sorted data now we can check okay this is our application most of votes you can see 72 it's in descending order then we have most recent 24 is coming 23 2023 22 and 20 and all right so let's see if it is working now i can just run the tests and push it so i will just do npm run test and once the tests are passing we can push this code and submit that on to the hacker rank use effect we are not using so we'll just remove it it is going to run our test one failed so we need to see what has been failed i'll do the same key unique key cause okay so this is my data we don't have any unique key here so what i was doing is in these articles 
of just passing the index okay that's the problem so let's save it again npm run test uh, i mean that application is not running right now let's see the tests one failed three passed okay so what is failing articles to expected date okay initial render correctly initial articles render correctly okay so there should be a condition that how should we render the articles initially right so that we need to check here some core functionalities okay the list of the articles passed to the app component is a props in form of this each article has the following property by default the article should be displayed in the table ordered by the number of upvotes in descending order so let's see yes by default uh, we need to show in the descending order that's the one failing right so instead of passing something like this uh, i can create a function here by votes here you are passing data and i will return the sorted element sort article by votes now you can call this method pass the array So here I'm passing the copy array. Similarly, I will be using this new function while setting up the initial data. And I can pass the articles. So whatever the data you are passing, I will be returning the sorted version of it. So let's say, okay, I need to restart the app. npm run start. npm run start and this is where we are running the tests and i can just do the tests again okay copy is not defined copy you need to pass i mean something you need to pass on which you want to do the sorting so currently they are being shown by default they are being shown in the descending order of votes and now our tests are passing okay is it still failing okay then that was the uh, the application error right we were not passing the variable in the function all are passing without wasting time we can just push our code get push origin master and here i can fetch the updated one can submit the questions here also i can run the tests i mean i already know that it's going to pass all the tests i submitted it so this is all about uh, the react certification both you should be able to get because both uh, we have submitted successfully with all the test cases passing.